So hello YouTubers. Um, today I want to talk to you about the concept of classes and objects. Um, if you have been working with the .NET framework, you probably heard a lot about classes and objects. And for those of you who still have questions about um, what each one of those are and how to use them, I want to go ahead and clarify that today. I had a lot of trouble with that in the very beginning, actually, just understanding the concept. I just didn't. I quite. I didn't quite grasp it. When I think of, of an object, I, I think of something like physical on on the screen with the GUI, you know. And so I had a lot of questions about it, and it took me a while. So let me go ahead and see if I can help some of you that, that might still have that same question in your mind. Um, to me nowadays, the easiest way to understand what a class is, is to think of a class as a template, okay, as a plan of an object, okay? So in order for you to have an object, it needs to come from a class, okay? Um, in, in other words, think about a class as, as a blueprint. Okay, let's say an architect draws a blueprint because they, you know, they're going to build a house. They have to have a plan of what the house is going to look like before they build it. But the blueprint is not the object; it's just the plan. So, from that blueprint, you you can create several houses. So, in in other words, each one of those houses is a unique object. Okay, they all they all come from the same class, from the same blueprint, but they can be all different. One can be red, the other one can be blue, the other one can have the door open, the door closed, and so on. Okay? Um, so that's kind of the idea behind a class. You cannot have an object without a class, and the class is the plan to create the object. So um, you, you write the class in C sharp, and then later on you initiate the class by creating the object, and then you use the object. Um, so, so that's that's what my understanding is of a class. That's how I think of a class. Another thing I think it's important to talk about. But by the way, we're not doing any code in this initial video. We're just going to be talking a little bit. Um, the other thing is, when do you use a class? Because right now, if if all we're doing is writing hello world applications and and very simple applications, you might think this is silly. You know, I don't have to write a class, and you actually write. You don't have to write a class for for an application that is really small, but the, the two main reasons why you have classes, number one, because you want to separate the business logic. You want to remove the business logic from the presentation layer, right? There, there are three layers. There's the presentation, there's the business logic, and then there's also what they, what's called the data layer, okay? Which is your SQL, Oracle, or Access, whatever database you want to you wanna use. Um, so if you have all your code, so reason number one move the business logic from the GUI into classes okay reason number two by doing that you actually you're organizing your code into this little snippets this little files called classes and and, and it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to troubleshoot the business logic later on to enhance and then to add more forms and things like that so imagine on the on the previous applications that we have been writing I have been putting everything in the GUI, right? So whenever you click a button, you can just go to the form and you can see the code. If we move that code to a class, it would probably be a lot easier for us to troubleshoot. So let's just say in the main form, let's say I moved everything to class. In the main form, all I'm going to have is, uh, let's say, object.connect to database. Now, that's very clear. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do that. It's going to call the code from the class and it's going to connect to the database. database. Second would be uh, object object.query tables, object dot retrieve data, object dot fill data set. So instead of having that huge chunk of code in the presentation layer, I can have only three or four uh, different lines of code just very specifically telling me what everything that what is everything that is going to happen in this um, in this form. So um, that's kind of the idea behind classes. I just I just hope that you um, able to understand theoretically what what it means. But um, if you're gonna watch the next video that I'm gonna make right now, um, we're gonna be we're gonna be creating classes. We're gonna be instantiating objects. We're gonna set and get properties and talk about events and all that fun stuff. Okay, so that was a little bit of theory for everybody. Um, watch the next video. Thank you. Bye.